the Randolph K. Vinson Award. Named in honor of the MDNA's Executive Director, Randolph K. Vinson, 1941-1965. This award is presented to the individuals in recognition of and appreciation for continuous contributions to the advancement of used machinery. And at this time, I'd like to call up my presidential appointee, Jack Bosher. I've been given the honor tonight to uh, present the Randolph K. Vincent Award. Since Janine's not here, uh, she, I, I decided to read from her notes uh, because she, it was really hurting her not to be here. She really, really wanted to be able to give this award. And I'm going to read from her notes. Tonight's recipient is the definition of the word volunteer. He has been a member of the Board of Directors for more than 20 years. When he first arrived on the board, scene, the nominating committee recognized him as a rising star, the term often used by that committee to signify officer material. Our recipient did not disappoint. While serving as a board rep for his chapter, he also chaired the public relations and chapter leadership committees. It almost pains me to add that, when he, that he worked for more than a few years on the serial number reference book. And I was on that committee, and it was not a lot of fun. <laughs> he became treasurer, second vice president, first vice president, and then elected as president for two years, and served as past president for two years. In case you haven't done the math, the officer ladder climb alone was ten, over 10 years. There's never a doubt where this man stands on a particular issue. There are no gray areas. Things are right or wrong, or good or bad, and I certainly concur with that. I know he has a great love for the association, and on a personal note, it is my greatest pleasure working alongside this special man, and I thank him for the support and respect he gave me during our years as officer team, on the officer team. Now, if that's not all enough, Jack? It's more about, it's, so long, long term service is one thing, but accomplishments are what really matter uh, in giving out an award of this, uh, of this prestige. And he um, accomplished an incredible amount in, in all the years that he has been serving this board. After his presidency, he has served on the Ethics Committee, which he currently does, the Austin D. Lucas Scholarship Fund, and is the head of the nominating committee, arguably our most important committee. During his presidency, he had a rough, rough time. And anybody that's been president of this association knows that you rely on your staff. And he was left with only, well, more than one, but Thank God Joyce was there because he had to hire a new executive vice president. He had to hire at least two controllers. And it's not a lot of fun when you're the president and the money people are not stable in their jobs and you have to do that. He, he got a lot of airline miles, having to come to Washington many times. Luckily, I think luckily, he hired Mark Robinson. Dan Strand. in my 